Okay, here we go. Hello, hello, class. Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. Okay, I'm ready. Hi, class. How is it going? Okay, here we go. How was your day? Did you have a good day? How was your day? I'm fine, thank you. What's fine? Very good. Happy November. Today is the first, first day of November. It was good. I had a good day, you know. <laughs> a very productive day. <laughs> yes. What's shopping in the flower? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> What shop is this in the phone? Todo bien, me alegra verlos. Let me see. Ya tenemos um, 13. Teacher. Uh -huh. Dígame, Saúl. Fíjese que ahorita voy manejando para la casa. No voy a llevar la cámara encendida. Ok, gracias Solo por escucharlo. Muy bien, Saúl, gracias. No se preocupe. Bueno. Don't worry. Gracias por el esfuerzo de estar en clase. Here me we escuchan. go. Me Okay, uh, hi Rubidia, ¿cómo estamos? Hi, uh, quería decirle que ayer no pude estar porque salí de emergencia y estoy acá por un problema familiar. Really, okay, don't worry, pero ya estamos acá nuevamente. Felices de verla nuevamente. Yes, same here. Okay, class, it's already the time so we can start. Yesterday we were practicing um, different expressions to tell the time. Do you remember the expressions? For example, if I ask you right now, what time is it? What can you tell me? What time is it? Is seven o one p.m. Is or it? It is or it's very good. It's seven. O one. Right now, seven o two. It's seven o two. Is it a.m. or p.m.? P.m. P.m. Very good. What is another expression that we can use for p.m. Instead of saying p.m., what else uh, can I say? ¿Qué más puedo decir en lugar de p.m.? Uh, at night. Mm. There we go. At, at night. 9 p.m. How about a.m.? What is another expression that I can use instead of using a.m.? Morning. In the morning. There morning. We go. morning. In the morning. In the, In the afternoon. At night. At midnight. Okay, but empecemos con eso. Let me show you my board. These are the expressions. In. In the morning. In. The afternoon. And then we have at. Noon. And at midnight. Midnight. In the morning, in the afternoon, at noon, at midnight. ¿Qué me hace falta? Morning, afternoon, noon, midnight. Night. Right? Night. At night. It's at. So those are the prepositions. In and at. In the morning, in the afternoon at noon, at midnight, at night. So I cannot say in midnight. Sería incorrecto, ¿verdad? I cannot say in the night. Incorrect. I need to say at. Tampoco puedo decir at the morning. On the morning. No. The correct expression and the correct preposition is the in, in the morning. The I understand, okay? Or I can also say this expression AM and also PM. 
okay, a.m. and p.m. And that's it, okay? Ahí está, creo que esto no lo vimos ayer, a.m., p.m. Y las preposiciones in and at. There we go. Let me present the topic that we have for today. Class number 14. Imagine we are about to finish this, um, this course. We are just missing this class and two extra classes, right? Don't forget that tomorrow we are not going to have classes. You have a day off. But we are going to continue on Thursday and on Friday. Right. Telling the time, it's already done. Look, in today's class, we are going to have a pronunciation or intonation practice. We are going to be practic practicing intonation that is very important and also the use of present continuous, but in this case, using questions. What type of questions? Informative questions, information questions, también se les conoce así, or WH questions, okay? Well, this is not class number 15, this is class number 14 actually, pero ese es el tema que tenemos para ahora, so. Write it down, please. Porque la última clase va a ser repaso. Uh, remember that you can find this information, the videos, in the platform. Ahí está todo este contenido, but let me go. Let me present the first video for this class that is going to be about an intonation practice, okay? Here we go, Principiante, Módulo 1. This is your group. Okay. After this video, we are going to check the attendance list. Okay. Let me go to section number five. And let me present the activity for today. Section number five, what are you doing? This is the topic for section number five. Salí, salí. Porfa, salí. Okay. Here we go. Intonation, rising and falling intonation. You know, whenever we are making questions in English, we can have a rising intonation or we can also have a falling intonation. ¿Qué creen que significa rising intonation? And what is the meaning of falling intonation? Rising, falling intonation. ¿Qué creen? Ascender y descender. Ah, muy bien. Rising se iría para donde la intonación. Sube Arriba. o baja. It goes Sube. up. Muy bien. Uh. Falling. ¿Qué pasa con falling? Baja. Va. Muy bien, va por abajo, sí, like this, falling intonation, ¿ok? Y eso se usa mucho con el tipo de pregunta que vamos a ver, WH questions. Let's listen to the, exa the examples that we have here and then we can practice. Here we go, class. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn about rising and falling intonation in yes or no questions and WH questions. Let's get started by understanding intonation. Pitch is raising and lowering the tone of voice while speaking. The use of pitch is called intonation. Understanding English intonation will increase not only your spoken English competency, but your English comprehension as well. Intonation is used to convey meaning. For example, you have the same set of words in two separate sentences but in one, the meaning may be different than in the other due to intonation. In this class, we'll focus on yes or no questions and WH questions and how intonation gives meaning. Let's listen and practice. Notice the intonation of yes or no and WH questions. 
Is she getting up? Are they sleeping? What's she doing? What are they doing? Well, there are many exceptions and rules to follow. In general, we can follow these two simple rules. For yes and no questions, there will be a rising intonation. For example, is she getting up? Are they sleeping? For WH questions, there will be a falling intonation. For example, what's she doing? What are they doing? This okay. topic, along with all the other pronunciation topics, require careful listening and to practice. I would like for you to listen carefully to your favorite English TV program and notice the rising and falling intonation of yes or no questions and WH questions. Okay, here we go. Let me go back to these examples that we have Let's here. Let's get started by... And as you may see, he was explaining about intonation. Remember that we are going to use intonation to convey meaning. ¿Qué significa eso? Necesitamos usar la entonación para... ¿Para qué creen que es importante la intonation? Para transmitir, en este caso, un mensaje. Ok, vamos a transmitir un mensaje. As I was telling you before, we have two types of questions. Y este tipo de preguntas las vamos a encontrar no solo en el presente. We can also use this type of questions in the future or in the past. Y siempre va a ser la misma estructura. Look, here we have the famous better to be. And the other two examples, we have the WH words, examples of WH words. And it's very simple to recognize the correct intonation. Miren, whenever we have questions with the verb to be, the intonation goes up, the pitch, it goes up, rising intonation. And whenever you find questions like this one with the WH words, ¿qué va a pasar con la intonation? Look, it goes down. Pero ¿qué oh. parte es la que sube y qué parte es la que baja? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. ¿Será el inicio de mi pregunta? O el final de mi pregunta, la que sube o la que baja. El final de la pregunta. Muy bien, it's the end. No es que toda la oración va a subir, toda la entonación o toda va a bajar. No, it's just right at the end. La que vamos a tener cerca de el question mark. Is she getting up? Miren el A, va para arriba. Are they sleeping? Are they sleeping? What's she doing? What's she doing? What are they doing? What are they doing? It's just the last part of the question that is going up or going down, okay? So this is what you need to notice. Dos formas fáciles de identificar como la pronuncio. Number one, ah, empieza con verbo to be. Number two, empieza con una WH words. Y así se si sube o baja. Okay, let me listen to you. Practiquemos, because we have some other examples right now. Okay, uh, let me ask Carla, Carla Patricia. Can you read the first two examples? This one. Read. Uh -huh. Read the examples. Ah, uh, is she is she getting up? Okay, one more time. Getting up. Getting up. Uh, uh -huh. is, she, that. is she getting up? One more time. Uh, is she getting up? Repeat. Is she getting up? 
Excellent. Are they sleeping? Are they sleeping? One more time. Are they sleeping? Excellent. Very good job. Carla, pick one of your classmates. Elija uno de sus compañeros. Look, ahí tenemos muchos. Milton. Okay, Milton. Milton, Milton, Milton. Okay, remember your microphone. Tengamos siempre el micrófono. Hay el cuidado, Milton. Now it's your time to practice reading these questions. Okay, listen to me and then you are going to practice. Okay, Milton, listen. Okay. What's she doing? Okay. What are they doing? Now you. What's she doing? Okay. What are they doing? Okay, excellent job. You did an excellent job. Great job. It wasn't difficult. Super fast teacher. Rising and falling intonation. Okay. Before we continue, because I have some other examples, I am going to check the attendance list. Please say here or say present. Aquí vamos. Let me see. How many students do I have today? Just 19. ¿Qué pasará con el resto, chicos? Algunos de sus compañeros que conozcan. Because... Somos 29 en este grupo. Imagine, we are still missing a lot of classmates. Bien, aquí vamos. Ok, Alonso Jeremías. Probably he's not here. Andrea Stephanie. Present teacher. Okay, Andrea. Give me one. Okay, Angel Luciel. Very good. Cecia Abigail. Present teacher. Very good. Namaris Claribel. Dolores Patricia. Present teacher. Excellent, Dolores. Fernando Jose. Present teacher. Okay. Erwin Adiel. Giovanni Alexander. Jenny Margarita. Present teacher. Okay. Joana Marbelli. Present teacher. Excellent. Jose Valmore. Present teacher. Okay. Jose Francisco. Jose Osman. Carla Azucena. Carla Patricia. Okay. Marlon Jonathan. Okay. Marvin Danilo. Mauricio Edgardo. Milagro de la Paz. Here I am, Miss. Okay. Milton Ernesto. I'm teacher. There we go. Oscar Armando. Oscar Francisco. I am here, teacher. Excellent. Rubidia Elizabeth. Present teacher. Okay. Saúl Ernesto. Ahí está, ¿verdad? He's driving. Stephanie Brenda Lee. I'm here, teacher. Excellent. Valeria del Carmen. Very good. And Vanessa Alejandra. Ok, ahí estamos. Muy bien, alguien que vaya llegando, que no lo mencioné. Teacher, a, a mí no, no escuché, pues. 
Ok, Saúl, ahorita ya. Muy bien. Excelente, Saúl. Gracias. You're welcome. Vaya, volvamos a la rising and falling intonation. Do you have questions? Preguntas? Milagro, do you have questions, no? No, teacher. Ah, no. Pues, pensé que sí, tiene, veo ahí el micrófono activado, but don't worry. Okay, here we go. Let me present some examples about the present continuous. Present continuous using WH word. Okay. This topic, it is the same as the one that we were practicing. ¿Se acuerdan que ya practicamos el present continuous? For actions that are going to happen, well, that are happening in this moment. Okay. Acciones que pasan en el momento. That is the present continuous. And if you go to the platform, the same. There you are going to find some questions that we are going to be using for this speaking practice, okay? So take a look at the pictures and listen. Here we go. Okay, vamos a apagar un ratito el sonido de todos para que se escuche mejor. Here we go. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn to ask and answer present continuous questions. Additionally, we will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Okay. Let's get started by listening to a Look conversation, at this conversation. Very a nice conversation. Mother, which illustrates WH questions in context. Let's listen and practice. Hi mom. What are you doing, Steve? I'm cooking. Why are you cooking now? It's two o'clock in the morning. Well, I'm really hungry. What are you making? Pizza. Mmm, pizza. Now I'm getting hungry. Let's eat. Okay, before we continue, let's listen to this conversation again. Here we go. Let's listen and practice. Hi, Mom. What are you doing, Steve? I'm cooking. Why are you cooking now? It's two o'clock in the morning. Well, I'm really hungry. What are you making? Pizza. Mmm, pizza. Now I'm getting hungry. Let's eat. Okay, let me ask you, class. What time is it in this conversation? What time is it? Hmm? In the morning. Okay, but what time? Can you be more specific? I know this conversation it's is the midnight. Exactly. Look, it's two o'clock in the morning. And what is his name? Morning. What his name? Steve. Steve. And who is this woman? Steve. Teacher. Yes. His mom. She, she is using the morning and two o'clock in the morning. I don't know. You see? So he is Steve. And I, don't, I don't say midnight. At midnight, it is midnight. You say? So they don't say mid. In this case, they are using the expression in the morning. Hey, muy bien, Oscar Francisco. So what is he doing? What is Steve doing right now? They are, what is... cooking. They are cooking. Uh, cooking. They are or he is cooking? Because he, is cooking. he isn't cooking. It's... She is not cooking. Who is cooking right now? Ah. Uh -huh. He is cooking. <laughs> he is cooking. Listen to the question. What are you doing, Steve? Yes. And he is replying. I'm cooking. I'm, I'm cooking. <laughs> and another question. Why, Why are, you cooking, are you cooking now? Why are you cooking now? It's two o'clock in, in the morning. The morning. Uh, well, I am really hungry. Listen, he's not hungry. He's really hungry. What are you making? What are you making? What are you making? 
Pizza. Pizza. Mm, pizza. Now I'm getting hungry. Let's eat. What do you think? How can you describe Steve's mom? Usemos un adjetivo para describirla. ¿Cómo creen que está ahorita ella? How is she feeling right now? And now she hungry. And uh, sure. now is hungry. What else? Can you tell me? She's hungry. ¿Qué más pueden decirme de Steve's mom? Is she happy? Sí. Is she sad sí. right now? Is uh, sleeping. sleeping? Probably she's yeah. sleepy. She's furious. furious. Do you think she's furious right now? Is she angry? She's. Uh... Probably not, right? I guess she's not angry. Yo creo que no se enoja. ¿Por qué creen que no se enoja? Um, because, because she has hungry. Look, she's even saying, hmm, let's eat. Pizza, I'm getting hungry. Let's eat. So she is not surprised. She is like, okay, I want to have some pizza too. Okay, look at some vocabulary. This is extra information. Me gustó que eh, reconocieran esto. Muy bien. It's two o'clock, look. In the morning, okay. Ahí está la expresión entonces. O podemos decir en general, it's midnight. Sin mencionar una hora en específico. It's two o'clock in the morning, it's midnight. Okay. Y tenemos dos verbos. Si se fijan, primero le pregunta, what are you cooking? What are you cooking now? What are you making? Yeah. Ok, son dos verbos que usamos para cocinar. Cooking, making. But you know, in the case of making, cuando usamos el verbo making, es porque lo estamos preparando con nuestras manos. Look, okay. the pizza. It has a very large process. Hay todo un proceso para hacer la pizza. Pero miren aquí, the tomato sauce. He is cooking the tomato sauce right now. Ya está cocinando. He is cooking right now the pizza. Pero todo el proceso sería, what are you making? Todos los pasos que ha hecho. Making and cooking. Okay? So this is just extra information. And here we go. Ya vamos a practicar esta conversación también. Now, listen to the examples that Are we have making? here. Pizza. Mmm, pizza. Now I'm getting hungry. Okay. Let's eat. Now, let's try to make sense of present continuous WH questions. We will typically use present continuous WH questions whenever we want to get information from an action that is in progress. For example, what are you doing right now? To form WH questions, we need to follow this formula. WH word plus plus subject plus, plus verb plus ing plus some kind of compound. If we look at the images on the screen, you can see a few WH questions. Let's analyze the first one. What's Victoria doing? We have a WH word, what? Then we have the verb to be, is. After that, we have the subject. Okay, check out on your microphones, please. After that, we have the uh, verb in its ing form. Okay. And then we have a question mark. Then, of course, you can see the question being answered. She's sleeping now. Now, we're going to listen to the rest of the questions and answers. Let's listen and repeat. Los Angeles. Okay, a... but before we continue, this is too small. I need to make a bigger picture right now. So, what's going on? What are you doing right now? 
Listen, what are you doing right now? ¿Qué necesito obtener? Información, information, questions. Así se llama. Todas las que dicen con WH. What are you doing right now, class? Let me listen to some examples. What are you I doing right now? English. I learning English with Insafor. Okay, I'm learning English with Insafor. I am practicing my speaking. I am listening to examples. I am watching to the video. What else? What else can you tell me? I am listening to my teacher. I am listening to my teacher. Okay, what else? I am listening to reference. Oh, really, really nice example. I am listening to an interference. Okay. Yeah, creo I don't que, know. ¿Quién es, chicos? No puedo identificar quién es. No sé, creo que es mi. No, I don't know. ¿Cómo no? Es que lo escucho por ratitos y luego ya no. So I cannot see who's that. It's radio interference. It is like. No. No sé si es un radio, un ventilador cerca. I guess it's that, right? Creo que, creo que es un ventilador. But don't worry. So what are you doing right now? Listen, how do we make questions using WH? Let me present some examples right now. Vámonos aquí a los ejemplos. Okay. ¿Se acuerdan de la fórmula? Miren, what are you doing right now? This is a question that I have. And what do I have here? At the beginning, I have a WH or plus. ¿Qué le sigue? The verb to be. In this case, it can be am. Or are. Este es el verbo to be. Luego le sigue. A subject. And after that I have the verb. La. The ing form. And then we have a complement. Okay. Complement. Me hace falta algo. ¿Qué será? What am I missing right now? The question mark. The question mark. There we go. Now let's write some example. Sigamos eso. Where? Wow. Voy a poner una con what. Y una con when. Where are sujeto. You. You. Where no. are you? No. Where are you going? Tomorrow. Because we don't have classes. Where are you going tomorrow night? ¿A dónde van a ir mañana en la noche? What are What are you? ¿Qué complemento le ponemos? ¿Qué estás tú? O pongámosle otra. Let me really? write. What is she reading? I like that verb. What is she reading? Look, the verb is read. And then we have the ing. What is she reading? Let's use the expression right now. What is she reading right now? When is this course going to finish? Okay, I have some examples right now using you, she, and it. What are you going to? Aquí me faltó. What are you going to do? What are you going to do tomorrow night? Me faltó el to do. Agregámoslo por acá. What are you going to do 
tomorrow night. Going to do. Es como un verbo complementario. ¿Qué vas a hacer mañana en la noche? ¿Ok? Y siempre es una acción progresiva. ¿Por qué? Porque está pasando en el presente. ¿Ok? Or what are you doing today after the class? What is she reading right now? ¿Qué está leyendo ahorita? What is she reading right now? When is this course going to finish? Look. Going to. When is this course going to finish? Okay. And there we have some examples, right? ¿Será que tengo la respuesta? ¿La puedo responder con yes and no? ¿O qué necesito? What do I need? Information. Information. Information, right. So this is what we need. Now with the pronunciation, how can I read the first one? Is this rising <laughs> intonation or is it falling intonation? De acuerdo, it's rising or falling? It's falling. It's falling, okay. It's falling. Leamos entonces la primera, Milagro. Can you read the first one? Where are you doing tomorrow night? Okay, one more time. Where are you going to do tomorrow night? Tomorrow night? Tomorrow night, excellent. Jenny. Tomorrow night. Jenny Margarita, number two, the second question. What is she reading I know? Ajá, pero ahí no escuché entonación al final. Otra vez, one more time, please. What is she reading I know? Okay, now it's perfect, Valeria, the last one. When is, when is this course going to finish? When is this course going to finish? Excellent information. Now, if you go to the platform, there you're going to find more examples. And I want you to complete this exercise with the help of your classmates. Probablemente algunos lo hicieron, pero probablemente otros no, right? So, correct intonation, you know? El primero les ayudo, el otro ustedes lo hacen. Sin escuchar el audio, without listening. What can you tell me about the first question? Is this rising or falling intonation? Sin escuchar el audio. Is this rising or falling intonation? Are you wearing a coat? It's rising. Why is it rising? It is, it is rising. Why? Yeah. The, the number one. Why is it rising and not falling intonation? Because it starts with a uh, verb to be. There we go. It's very simple because we have the verb to be at the beginning. So in this case, do you really need to listen to identify? Será que necesitamos escuchar el audio para identificar o no? What do you think? No, no. Not really, no, right? Teacher. So, yeah. así quiero que manejen really. ustedes este tipo de información. Okay? No necesito escuchar, no necesito ir a ver mi cuaderno. Tal vez es necesario una, dos, tres veces. But after that, acordarme, ah, verbo to be. That's una WH word, okay? So, here we go. Let me have Carla Azucena, number one. Are you wearing a coat? This is a question. Is this rising or falling intonation? Rising. So can you read the question, please? Are you wearing a coat? One more time. I don't think. Sorry. What are you doing? No, number are one. You... Number one. What? Yes. Okay. Are you wearing a coat? One more time. Raise it. Clase, estamos en lo correcto. Rising or falling intonation. 
Racing. Yes. 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 yes, racing. Yes, no, vaya. Me quedo con la uno. The next example that we have here is this one. And as you may see, we have some people that they are doing some actions. Y tenemos la hora, 4 a.m., 6 a.m. Tenemos a Sue and Tom, 7 a.m. Celia, 9 a.m., James and Anne, noon, and Andre, 3 p.m. And we also have the place. Los Angeles, Mexico City, New York City, Brasilia, London, and Moscow. Okay. So before we go to the example, what is happening right now? What are they doing, class? What is Victoria doing right now? ¿Quién me hace una oración? ¿Qué está haciendo ahorita ella? What is Victoria she, doing right now? She is sleeping now. She's, She's in sleeping. Uh -huh. She is sleeping now. She is sleeping no. right now. No, she no. is sleeping right now. Okay, escribamos la number one. She is. El verbo es sleep. She is sleeping. Podría dejarla hasta acá. Yes, that's okay. Mm. But we can also add this extra information. Right now. Number two. What is Marcos doing right now? He's getting up. He's get up. Get up. One more time. He's wearing. He is get up. What is he doing? He is get up. Like this one. He is get up. He up. Está correcto o le hace falta algo? ING. The ING. Is missing. So it's missing. Mm -hmm. He's getting up. Mm -hmm. Él está uh -huh. levantarse. No. Levantándose. Mm -hmm. So he's getting up. Muy he's bien. getting up. Porque mi pregunta es: What is he, mm -hmm. she, Doing. Doing. Y también les puedo hacer otro tipo de pregunta. Miren, what are they wearing? ¿Qué están usando? What is Marcos wearing right now? Pajamas. Marcos is wearing yeah. pajamas. Marcos is wearing pajamas. 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 What about Sue and Tom? What are they doing right now? Sue and Tom. They are. Uh, Sue and Tom are. Uh, they are having breakfast. Oh, they are having breakfast or they are eating breakfast. Very good job. So, this is the activities that you need to complete. Que voy a dar para ustedes. Let me see. This example. Este va a ser speaking. Vámonos a la plataforma and you're going to complete this one. 5.7. Vamos con ese ahorita. 5.7, ¿ok? Let me send you different groups right now. 5.7. Five minutes and then we come back. Go, please. Okay, well, with your classmates, please. Excellent. Okay, you can stay here, okay, Milagro? So let me ask you about this one. Number one, is it rising or falling? 
What do you think? The number one is right, in teacher. How about number two? It's falling. Okay, number three? It's falling, teacher. Number four? It's rising. Number five? Falling. And number six? Right, in teacher. Okay, so can you read number one? Are you wearing a coat? Excellent, number two. What are you doing now? Excellent, continue. What time it is? No, it repeat is. that. It is, what, very affirmative. What, is? What, what is. time is it? I see, there we go, number four. It is midnight. One more time. Is it midnight? Now, there you have it, is it midnight? Is it number midnight? Five. What color is this t-shirt? Okay, excellent. Number six. Are you from Thailand? One more time. Thailand. Uh, are you from Thailand? Thailand. There we go. Excellent. You know what I like? Me gusta Milagro se corrige usted sola. Eso es bueno. Thailand. Okay, thanks. Excellent. Thanks, okay. Let me see. Quien más tengo? Saul probably is not there. Damaris, are you there, Damaris? Yes, yes ahorita. Yeah, hello? I guess she's not there. Creo que no está. Damaris. Hello, Damaris. Hello, Damaris. Hola. Hi, Tamari. Is uh, are you wearing a coat? Uh -huh. Is this rising or falling intonation? Are you wearing a coat? Pero será que sube o baja la entonación? Falling or rising intonation? Rising. Rising. Segura. Sure. You sure? Quiero que estemos bien, bien seguros. Vaya. Damari, ya voy a regresar y le vuelvo a preguntar. Ok. Vamos a la plataforma. 5.7. Repásela del 1 al 5 y luego regrese. Ok. Just give me one second. Questions? Hi teacher. Hello. Um, queremos saber este aparte de, de lo de la plataforma qué más vamos uh -huh. a hacer. Just that, just this one, solo esta. Okay, Jenny, let me ask you. Number one, is this a rising or falling intonation? Rising. Rising. Can you read the question? Puede leerla. Can you read the question? Are you wearing a coat? Ah, pero ahí la entonación, ¿qué pasó? Otra vez, probemos otra vez. I know you can do it. Uh -huh. Are you wearing... Espérense, la última parte es la que sube. Are you wearing, Are you a, coat? wearing a coat? Excellent job. Rubidia, number two, is it rising or falling? Um, Pauline, can you read the question, please? What are you doing now? Wow, I really like it. Angel, is number three rising or falling? Mm, falling. Okay, can you read the question? Uh, what time is it? Ah, pero ahí no escuché ninguna entonación. La escuché así, plana. Otra vez, can you try it again? Uh, what time is it? Ah, hoy cambia. Muy bien, Ángel. <laughs> Chicos, preguntas sobre este tema? Rising and falling intonation. ¿Cómo sienten este tema? Easy or difficult? Yeah, yeah. Regular. Yeah. Oh, regular, ok. Yeah. Pero así tenemos que manejarlo. Saber cómo voy a leer en mi cerebro. Saber identificar antes de leerlo, ok. Si es rising or falling intonation, ok. 
Let's go back. Volvamos ya al grupo, ok? Excellent job, guys. Thank you. My microphone. Time to come back. We are going to listen to you. Giovanni. Are you there, Giovanni? I guess he's not. Ahí está. Hola. Hi, Giovanni. Hi, Giovanni. Really? Muy bien, Giovanni. Antes que le falle el internet, let me ask you for number four, la número cuatro. Is number four rising or falling intonation? Creo que le falló el link a Giovanni. Probably he's not there. It's recently. Uh -huh. Number four is? It's nine. Estoy teniendo problemas con el internet. Okay, don't worry. No se preocupe, Giovanni, entiendo. So, rising or falling class? Falling. Falling. Alguien me dijo rising. Rising. No falling. Rising. Clase ya me confundieron. Rising or falling. No. Stephen said rising. Muy bien. To be is rising. Ver to be is rising. Así de seguros tienen que estar. Ver to be is rising. Wh falling. Muy bien. That's it. Rising intonation. What so, veamos quién yeah. puede leer. Cestia, can you read number four? It is midnight. Ah, pero yo escuché iris. Primero el verbo to be. One more time. Is it? Muy bien. Is, is it? it midnight? Is it midnight? Is it midnight? ¿Cómo sería? <laughs> is, is it midnight? Is it midnight? Okay, Is excellent. Is it midnight? Is it midnight? <laughs> eso. Saben que el inglés, eso tiene, exageremos la pronunciación, que se note lo que estamos pronunciando. Right. Así como somos en español, así hagamos en inglés también. Okay. Don't be afraid. Tengan miedo de que suene diferente. You know, even... Hasta, ¿Se han fijado que hasta su voz cambia? Su tono de voz es diferente en inglés que el del español. ¿Ya han notado eso? ¿Have you ever noticed that? It's different. Yes. Yes. So don't be afraid to pronounce, to move. Abra la boca. Ah, like this one. No, no va a funcionar. No tengan miedo. There we go. Valeria, number five is for you. Rising or falling? Falling. Can you read? The it's question? falling. It's falling. There it is. It's falling. Uh -huh. Vale, can you read the question? Te lea la pregunta. Valeria, ahí estamos. Muy bien. Can you read, read the question? <laughs> Solo se me queda de Dios. Vale, okay. no, no. What, What color is he t-shirt? What color is he t-shirt? Is he t-shirt? He's t-shirt. T-shirt? T-shirt, no. ¿Qué color es t-shirt? ¿Qué color soy t-shirt? No, no, no. What color is he t-shirt? T-shirt. Teacher, no, teacher, acuérdense. Sure. 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 I guess he's not there. <laughs> Brenda Lee, what can you tell me about number six? Class, me asusto. Eh, eh. ¿Y en dónde Rising. está? Rising. Okay, where is Jose Valmore, Fernando Jose, Marlon, Damaris, Cecia? Solo Saúl me ha justificado que va manejando, ¿eh? Nobody else. 
Ay, aquí estoy. Aquí estoy, Shinter. Muy bien. Ok, Damari. Ahí estoy. Ok, Marlon. What can you tell me about this one? Number six. Hola. Number six. Is it rising or falling? Uh, falling, creo. No recuerdo. <risa> Nada, tenemos que ser 100% seguros. Acuérdense. Verbo to be. Rising. WH. Falling. ¿Qué sería esa, Marlon? Miren, es verb to be. Verb to be. Rising, entonces. Rising. Muy bien. So, can you read the question? Eh, que repita la pregunta. Ajá, puede leerla. Can you read the question? Where you from? No sé cómo se dice eso. Thailand. 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 Are you from? Thailand. Are you from Thailand? Are you from Thailand? Are you from Thailand? Are you from Thailand? Practiquen. Are you from Thailand? Are you from Thailand? Are you from Thailand? And that's it. Bien, quiero que manejen así, este tipo de preguntas. Tal vez la estructura ya la manejamos, acciones que pasan en el momento. So, you know, tenemos todavía three minutes. Answer the question about the picture. Número uno. Who's sleeping now? Who is sleeping now? Victoria, Victoria is Victoria. sleeping now. Is sleeping. Is sleeping. Number two. What is or what Marcos, Marcos wearing. wearing? Marcos is wearing a pajamas. Pajamas. So is it correct this one? He wearing pajamas? No. ¿Qué le hace falta a eso? Sí. Es. El verbo to be. He wear pajamas. No. How about this one? No. No, porque no lleve el ING. How about this one? Uh -huh. He's wearing pajamas. pajamas. So this is the correct sí. one. Eh, Dolores, who is having breakfast? Who is having breakfast? ¿Quién está comiendo breakfast right now? Mira la picture. Sí, bien, Tom. ¿Hm? They are having breakfast. James and uh -huh. Anne or Sue and Tom? Sue and Tom. They are having breakfast. Uh -huh. But Dolores, Patricia, Patty, what is your opinion? Who is having breakfast? Who's having breakfast? Sue and Tom. <laughs> no le dé miedo a equivocarse. Si se equivocan, no hay problema. ¿Quién, Patricia? Eh, que me ayude. <risa> que me ayude, dice. Necesita uh, el comodín. Uh, Tom, comodín de la llamada. 50-50. No, vamos, chicos, ayudémosle. Su, el Pero como redacto. Muy bien, acuérdense, sujeto. Su, en Tom. ¿Qué le sigue? Verbo to be. El verbo have. Are having Punto, si es necesario, si no, no sé. Y así. Bien, clase, les quedaría esta sección ya lista para completarla. Section number 5.10. Quiero ver la 5.13. También podemos complementarla ya. ¿Ok? Y aquí, ¿cuál es? Esta creo que les da problema, ¿verdad? La número cuatro. Yes. What is Mary doing? Me han preguntado mucho la cuatro y la ocho. ¿Qué se recuerda? What is Mary doing? And what is Mary doing in number eight? Just watching TV. This is watching TV, right? In Mary is four. typing. And typing in Just number eight. watching TV. Hasta se las memorizaron, increíble. So watching TV uh -huh. and typing. Así que ya pueden finalizar la sección 5 si no lo han hecho. Please.
para que nos quedemos jueves y viernes con el review, el repaso final de la sección 5 y del examen final. ¿Ok, class? Questions, comments. ¿Cuándo nos vemos? Mañana, ¿verdad? No. 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 Ahí sí todos responden. No, teacher. Ya ves que le funciona el micrófono. No, no me sé por qué era mi casa, pero... Hasta... Ok, don't worry. Okay. Hasta el jueves. La misma hora, siempre el mismo enlace, ¿ok? See you on Thursday. Have a good night. Thank you for participating. Uh, yes, Erwin, ahorita le actualizo su asistencia. Don't worry. Erwin, aquí está. Ok, ya le puse presente, Erwin. Don't worry. Ok, bye bye class. Thank Have a good teacher. night. Bye. See you on good Thursday. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Ok, Damaris, ahorita también. Don't worry. Bye. Ya la actualicé. Bye, teacher. Bye bye. Bye.